Tonight we do begin with the busy street in Davidson. Three people have died simply because they were walking across this area. Good evening and welcome to your news at 11 o'clock. I'm Molly Grantham. Those deaths are spurring the town to install a new type of pedestrian walkway system. And tonight our Erica Lunsford got an inside look. What she found is the walkway could be confusing to both drivers and pedestrians. She is live now in Davidson to help explain. Erica. Hey Molly, I'm here on Griffith Street near Milkbread and Davidson Day School where one of the two new Hawk pedestrian systems have been installed. Now in order for this to work right, both drivers and pedestrians need to know what the signals mean. The town of Davidson isn't as slow paced as it used to be. To keep up with all the growth and increasing pedestrian and vehicle traffic, the town installed what's called a Hawk system on Griffith Street. It stands for high intensity activated crosswalk and they're used at locations that have a very high pedestrian volume, which this one does. This street has about 400 pedestrians a day. Um, and about 20,000 vehicles a day. So how does it work? Once someone presses the crosswalk button, Wait. the hawk signal will light up, warning cars to slow down with a blinking yellow light. Once it turns solid red, all cars must stop and let the person cross the street. The lights will then start blinking red, meaning drivers go ahead with caution. If a driver runs a solid red light. It is running a red light. Yeah, yeah so it's a ticket for running a red light. So it's a significant ticket. Walking along this intersection almost every day, Kathy Broomer says it's a better system than before, but she's still concerned about drivers who may not notice the lights. So it's nice they put this in, but nobody seems to know traffic wise how it works. I, they're not used to looking up and the, the, the lights are very high. I, they did have a temporary sign out there saying make sure you look up, but I think it's going to be time until they just get used to it. Some Davidson College students also feel it will take time. I do try to avoid crossing in this area, so hopefully in the future I won't feel as scared about it. The town of Davidson knows it will take some getting used to, but hopes the new Hawk system will help prevent future pedestrian deaths. Anytime we, we have a pedestrian tragedy, it, it affects the whole town, and this is part of our response to, uh, to some of the issues we've had in the past, and we think this is going to be a very safe location. So far, there are two Hawk pedestrian systems here on Griffith Street. They've been here for a couple of weeks now, and the town tells me they are in the process of adding two more. Now, if all goes well down the road, they say they will install others around the town. Reporting from Davidson, Erica Lunsford, WBTV, on your side. Erica, thank you.